And now, the conclusion. Now let's summarize. Electric charge we represent with the letter Q. We measure that in Coulombs. We abbreviate Coulomb with an uppercase C. One electron has a charge of 1.602 10 to the negative 19 Coulombs. Electric current we represent with the letter I measured in, in, in amperes or amps and we abbreviate amps with the uppercase letter A. Current is a measure of the amount of charge that flows by per second. One amp is one coulomb per second. Electric height or voltage is represented with letter V. It's measured in volts and volts abbreviated with the uppercase letter V. One volt is one joule per coulomb. We also saw how to compute the electric height drop or voltage drop when we move from a point A to a point B. We say the voltage drop when we move from A to B is the height of A minus the height of B. That is the voltage of A minus the voltage of B. Now let's find out what is the true meaning of the unit volt. Consider this terrain with two points A and B. They are in the middle of an electric field, like so. Obviously, we say A is higher than B in that electric field. We don't measure how much higher A is than B in meters. We don't. We measure the difference in height between A and B inside the electric field in volts, of course. We say A is higher than B, and A is higher than B in 30 volts. 30 volts? Yes, in 30 joules per coulomb. What does it mean? What it means is that a coulomb in A is richer in energy than the same coulomb in B potential energy, remember? So a Coulomb in A has 30 joules of energy more than the same Coulomb in B. If we have a Coulomb in B and we want to move it uphill, you and I, we have to pay the price and pay nature 30 joules of energy. On the other hand, if there is a Coulomb in A in the high point and we let it slide downhill, that Coulomb delivers 30 joules of energy. And that's the meaning of that. Summarizing, voltages are like heights in electric fields. Electric currents in amps, they always flow downhill. Always. Well, unless there is a source and the source is winning. Sometimes they don't win. And those cases we will study in the future. Electric heights or voltages are measured with respect to an arbitrary reference. Arbitrary, but fixed during the solution of a problem, all right? One volt is one joule per coulomb. One amp is one coulomb per sec. Up to this point, I really believe that the students already achieved the goals of the lecture. You should be able to answer what is voltage and what's the unit for voltage, what is current, and the unit for current. And uh, answer to the question, electric currents, are they made out of positive or negative charges? And does it really matter? How many clumps are there in an electron? What is the meaning of volt? What is the meaning of uh, the ampere? The reference for voltages, is it absolute? And that is the end of this lecture. Thank you very much.